Good morning, sunshine. I'm just coming to say one thing. I wanted to say, good morning, beautiful. How are you today? Because do you realize some people, they, that's not how they wake up? I know you're shocked. They don't wake up and say, beautiful new day. Or they don't have somebody to say, hello, beautiful. Like, you know, their own dang self. <laughs> you're thinking, who's saying that to you in your house? I know you're shocked that Christopher doesn't greet me that way in the morning. Hi, y'all. Hi, Michelle. Y'all, I love to connect first thing in the morning. I mean, really, I've been up for three hours, but y'all, what are y'all doing? Debbie, aren't you on the, um, that would be the West Coast if I'm the East. See, I don't know geography either. I was thinking you were in California, which means it's, it's four over there, and I see Jerry Lee. Hey, girl. See, I know y'all, Jerry Lee, it's 7 p.m. over there in Australia. <laughs> you know what would have been great right then if I had some kind of Australian accent to pull out? Well, that would be sad. Somebody on my YouTube channel was just like, what part of the country is that accent from? And I'm like, I don't know what the heck y'all are talking about. <laughs> My friend just told me the other day that I, he was saying that um, I had a thick accent, and I'm like, you live around here, what are you saying? Mr. Scott has a thick accent. It's a country boy, like, um, I'm, I'm going down there, mom, mom and daddy names, and I'm like, what? <laughs> he has a whole different lingo of country boy slang. Ah. Uh, Hey, y'all. So I want to tell you what I'm having this morning and encourage you to start your day with hydration. Encourage you to start your day with flushing your body, right? Clearing out the calcifications in your body. Opening up the third eye to the universe so you can receive the messages of love and light. And how are you going to do that? You're going to clear out the dead debris in your body. You're going to flush out. Here's what we've got going on this morning. And guess what? Um... I, I have two juices here, and I didn't even use a juicer. I used my blender, and I did that on purpose so that you people that don't have a juicer could get juicy with it, right? No. <laughs> what are y'all saying? You're a morning person, too. From Dubai? Where is that? You're in your sauna. Debbie Daly's in her sauna over in California this morning. You know, I used to have an infrared sauna back in the day. I, years ago, see, I've got sidetracked. Years ago, my ex-husband, I, I wanted one of these. This is when I was sick, and he was, this has been a long time ago. He was on board with my healing journey. And he, <laughs> before, he was like, whatever, run away. <laughs> it's not my fault. I had to change his name to see ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point. So anyway, we had gotten this sauna and we got it used and the lady that had used it had two different houses and it was at her um, vacation home, which is at uh, Lake Bowen, not too far from here. I took y'all there the other day and um, anyway, so we got it and it had barely been used and it was a, a two-person sauna. It was fabulous. It had a radio in there and you could play DVDs. This was back in the day, you know, and um it was just great, but I'll give you a little warning about those. If you're going to get an infrared sauna, cover your hair up because it really, really dries the hair and it'll cause hair loss too, Debbie. Yes, it will, and you probably know that, but um, anyway, I would get in there and I would sweat and I really think it it progressed my healing process a little bit, but then then later on, you know, you have to replace the heating elements and, and things in those and, and um we were having to shimmy our budget down and we sold it and now i'm like if i only had that thing back because i got that sauna for like 250 dollars which is dirt cheap i mean they're thousands of dollars and if you try to go to one it's even more expensive i mean it's not a thousand dollars at a time that would be ridiculous but you know it adds up is what i'm saying girls anyway i see y'all's little hearts y'all are so sweet this morning anyway um so do I have kids? Yes. I have, uh, if you want to call them kids, there, I have a daughter who's almost 21 and a son who's almost 19 and a three-year-old grandbaby of love and light. Yes, I do. <laughs> if I 
didn't let him go, I would have never found me. Debbie, it's profound words at seven in the morning. It is a beautiful thing. That was supposed to happen in my life, you know, and, and it's, it's beautiful. I am a grandma. Speaking of that, I was thinking, I'm, I'm, I just got off my rebounder, and um, then I took a little shower, and then I did a little bit of tidy, 10-minute tidy in the house, and then I made some juice with no juicer, which I'm going to get to show you in just a second, and then um, I had the pleasure of working with a couple of people this morning, and um, then I'm thinking about going to this outdoor giant yard sale. Would y'all like to go to that? And my daughter, she has some houses to clean first thing this morning, but then she's off, and I could go there, and and Byron want to come, might want to come and hang out there too. And um, what did you miss? Hello, destination body. How are you this morning? You missed me talking about the the infrared sauna. If y'all want to see the benefits of that, you should really look into that. It's it's. Hey, y'all. It can't stop smiling. Yard sale. So what's that place called? Hey, Byron. What's it called up there? It's like a um a junky place and it's it's a huge uh like a yard sale, but it's not a yard sale. It's a um what's that word? <laughs> uh, anyway, so I might do that at flea market, little crunchy, the flea market and Yes, and we could go there and we could junk around and like, I don't need a thing, but I might want a thing, right? I love to shop for old, like, for example, this little vintage um, mason jar right here. It's like quite fabulous, isn't it? And uh, look at this kind of jar top, also fabulous. I know y'all wondering what the heck I'm drinking, aren't you? And I love to get like carnival glass, you know, um, antique carnival glass and like 70s dishware and such as the flea market we could go we really could do i do oil pulling you know what yeah i you know what i have no excuse right no excuse because i am all about teeth health and uh, I, I do oil pulling sometimes but i've not gotten to a consistent groove on that but you know what now that you've mentioned that i think that tomorrow because Sunday's really the start of the week. It doesn't feel like it. But that would be a great day to start that and do like a 30-day venture of oil pulling. And that's a whole video. That's a good video right there. That's content that I didn't even have to think of. I'm going to do that. Because I love to brush my teeth in aluminum-free baking soda, right? And then I'm a habitual flosser, okay? And, um... And, you know, people don't like to floss, but that is really, it's great for gum health, too. And my teeth are really tight, and so it's not like it, you don't have to, you got to work the strain, girls, you know? <laughs> You're a hippie chick. Me too, girl. I was just talking about the beauty of, like, a little flowy sundress and how, like, that is so, like, hippie chic and sexy in the summer with some little, like, little thong sandals, you know, and some, some kind of flowy earrings, and I'm all about that. Just really cute. I love to look feminine, don't y'all? Not that you'd be able to tell now with my little spot. I was on the rebounder, though, you know? And then I just slipped this back on because I wasn't sure what I needed to wear today. Hey, Laura. So, making some juicers without, juices without a juicer, okay? Yes, flowy, y'all. You got an electric toothbrush, a spin toothbrush. Who's saying that? You know what I want? Um, I want a Sonicare toothbrush. Have y'all seen those? I've had some cheaper versions, and I have one somewhere else where I hang out sometimes overnight. I have a new toothbrush there, and... Um, yeah, and so it's electric. It's kind of handy, but the ones I got me and Chris now, they're not. And I don't know what he does to his toothbrush because I, we'll have a toothbrushes for a week, okay? And his will look like he's been sitting around like gnawing on the bristles. I'm like, son, what are you doing with that thing? <laughs> um, was it pricey, Heather? Recently bought an infrared sauna tent from Amazon. It feels nice, but I'm still not sweating. 
you know what? I'm not a person who sweats easily either. Um, I never have been, and, and it is good to get your sweat on. So I'd sit in that thing until I started sweating. But I'll tell you what will make you sweat is the Jacob's Ladder and the stair climber at the gym because at my gym it's really up tall and it's kind of hot up there and um and I usually wait to, to get on that there's two beside each other till there's another friend and I can talk to anybody so it makes my time go by quicker Your, girls it's good for the booty you know and I did these things the other day they were um walking lunges okay so I had I don't remember what weight it was but I had two of the little hand dumbbells you know the the dumbbells and I had them okay so they're hanging down like that okay and you're lunging out like you're walking stretching as far as you can because you don't want your knee to go beyond like where your ankle is because then you're gonna put stress unneeded stress on your joints but anyway and you take it down really low with that weight and then you get back up and you bring it okay so you bring them together and then you do the opposite foot out so I was doing like across the gym like six times girls my hiney muscles like I need somebody I need like a deep you know like a tissue massage you know what I'm saying like I got up off the couch the other day and I was gonna like scooch to the kitchen because Christopher was going there to see what he wanted to eat and I was like no no I'll fix that baby and I tried to jump up and race him in there and when I got up I was like oh <laughs> it's like mom It's funny watching people trying to get your attention. Who's trying to talk to me? You have too much booty. Exercise in the butt is where it's at. And I'll tell you what, I used to be all about just being skinny, like back in the day, like as long as I was skinny. But the older I get, the more I appreciate some curvy booty, you know? And like, I mean, I mean, when you just get, can you just get your gains on on that? Like it does not take much to really like start the muscles popping, you know? And the back muscles, it's really beautiful when you are still feminine, but you have some defined muscle tone. And I mean, you know, have you ever seen some women that um, are just people in general, but as they get older, they're still slim, but like there's no shape, like like their hiney is more like a pancake, you know, flat. But what's cute is even if it makes your pants a little more tight, don't be paranoid. It's muscle you're gaining and that's strength, you know, and that is beautiful. Curves on girls are beautiful when you are strong. And like, you know, I used to be more like when I was lifting weights in the gym or say I'm doing like the, what's that thing called? Leg extension, okay? So you have your legs under this padded bar and you're, you're down and then you're like bringing it up, okay? And you're down and you're bringing it up and when you bring it up, you want to hold, you know? You don't want to have a jerking motion, okay? Here's a new little phrase I've learned this week, which is very funny. You want to have control mo motion. You want to use as much weight as you can without having to, like, jerk it up, okay? Because if you're jerking it, you're not working it, okay? And that's funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> See why I need to grow up, because that's funny. Mr. John said that to me at the gym. He's the owner, and I, like, was cracking up, and he was like... <laughs> Anyway, so you're on the leg extension, right? And I used to be more like more reps, less weight. But now I'm like the supersets, okay? So say you're working the front of your thighs, and then which that's what that is, and then you're going to work the back of your thighs, okay? So you're going to go over to the one where you're like pushing down, or you're going to stand and you're going to bend at the waist with your weights, and you're going to lower the weights all the way down and bend up and arch your back so your, your hiney's out, and that works the hamstrings. So when you're doing a superset, you're working the front of the muscle, and then you're working the back. Not that it's the same muscle, but you see the front of the leg, the back of the leg. So, when you're doing that, my thing is putting as much weight on there as you can. And then maybe as you're doing, maybe you're doing four sets of the superset, the front and back, so to speak, on the legs. So, you might have to lower the weight, but at, at first you're going to really, you got to get warmed up, you know. Then you're going to do the max weight you can, okay. And you're going to do like, say, 12 to 15 of those. Then you don't really have to rest right then because you're going to move to the next, the back of the legs, okay. Then after that, you're back to the front. Are y'all picking this up? Y'all probably like, duh, we know that. Well, I didn't know it, okay. <laughs> it's new for me. And so, therefore, you're also getting your cardio on because by the time you're done with four sets of the superset front and back, baby, you're burning and you're out of breath. And that's a good thing, right? You gotta have good form. 
you're lifting your cheeks. You know what? I was 